this is an electro muscle stimulation booty toning pair of shorts and I'm gonna test it for science. These shorts work by electronically stimulating your muscles, meaning they essentially give you electric shocks. And the aim of that is to supposedly, according to the website, give you a firmer, more uplifted and more voluptuous booty in just six weeks. But due to my general lack of organizational skills, um, we're, we're gonna do it in one week, just one week, uh, to see if it makes any noticeable difference to the size of my plum tomatoes. This controller comes pre-programmed with workouts of varying intensity and duration that it'll give you shocks for. The intensity of the shocks can also be increased or decreased by using the little arrows on the left and right side of the controller. The controller then sends impulses to the gel pads that are in direct contact with your skin and essentially electrocutes your muscles. Now in our current society, the ideal body type is a voluptuous derriere. And I say within our current society because Honestly, the ideal body type changes as quick as the seasons. So if you aren't blessed with a perky posterior, I wouldn't worry because in two years time, society is going to decide, you know, we like flat bums again. Uh, and that's going to be my personal time to shine. Now, whilst I don't particularly mind my lack of peachiness, <laughs> I thought it'd be a fun little experiment to give a go for science. Okay, so if you've clicked on this video for any reason other than science, you're in the wrong place. It's for science. I am a scientist. Don't you dare skip ahead. I know that I know that you were gonna do it. Look at this cat. This cat has bills to pay. Look at this adorable little face. Every time you skip one of my Skillshare ads, guy, I can't pay a rent. So please do click the link down below to get your free trial of Skillshare. Because you guys showed so much support on my last integration I did with Skillshare, they very kindly sponsored this part of today's video as well. Most of you know by this point that I, I quite fancy Skillshare. I've been using it more or less religiously for the past year and I can't fault it. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes. It's well known on this channel that I'm a serial plant murderer. Uh, it's not by choice. It's not. So I've been taking various classes on Skillshare to help me green my thumbs. And the most recent one that I've been taking is Indoor Gardening, Grow House Plants, Veggies and Herbs by Ekta Chardi. So as well as teaching me how to look after my indoor plants generally, it's also helping me to learn how to grow my own food, uh, particularly tomatoes. I love a good plum tomato. You know, it's a bit curvaceous. Juicy. But if vegetables aren't your thing, uh, which is probably a, a huge disappointment for your doctor, Eat your vegetables, they're good for you. Skillshare has classes on fashion, photography, illustration, productivity, Hebrew, I, I don't know, whatever you fancy, they've got it. The first 1,000 of my viewers to use the code ELBAT0522. I know, we've got some numbers on the end this time. We've We've spiced it up a bit. We'll get a free one month trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Alternatively, there is a link down below that you can also use. You just literally just scroll down and you click it. And as a token of gratitude for supporting my sponsors, especially Skillshare, because you know how I feel about Skillshare, um, I'm gonna show you my other cat. He's just a baby. <laughs> At least say, Thank you everyone for clicking the link in the description down below and getting a free one month trial of Skillshare. Okay, I'll, I'll let you get back to the video now. Alice says bye. <laughs> bye. Right, I've got the shorts. I forgot how teeny tiny these are. There are four pads. These top pads go directly on your gluteus maximus and I'm gonna be saying that as many times as possible throughout the video, just so you remember that this is in fact for science. And then the bottom ones go just beneath your booty. Uh, I think those are the ones that help provide the lift. What is really funny about these shorts though, is if you open the pads, it's just bare bum. It's literally just a shorts with holes in. Looks like an outfit for Coachella. I've got the shorts on, um, for obvious reasons. I'm not gonna turn around. We are embracing the wind. This is quite fun. I'm not gonna lie, this could be a workout in and of itself. Just gotta, it's kind of just self spanking, really, if you're into that. This is going to go directly onto my skin and electrocute me. Super glad that I had the idea to do this video. Is everyone ready? Okay, right. Hit me. Here we go. It's like a weird tingling but in waves. It's all, oh, oh. <laughs> It kind of feels like pins and needles. 
except slightly more vicious. It's like the pins and needles itself has a, has a personal issue with you and it's really out to get you. You know, it's not just a passive pins and needles. It's a, it's a, it's a I hate you pins and needles. I'm gonna do this for the next half an hour um, and I, I'll check in with you later. I swear to God, I better look like Kim Kardashian after this or I'm gonna be fuming. Absolutely fuming. The first few days were really unsettling. Getting electrocuted on your bum is an odd experience. I don't, I don't know how to explain this in any other way. I decided to do 30 minutes every day because I felt like that was a reasonable enough amount of time to give it a chance to work without it being excessive. I didn't want to straight go in with an hour of, of buttock electrocution. Um, that just seemed a, a bit intense to me. I need warming up to it. By the middle of the week, I'm shocked to say, uh, if you'll excuse the pun, that I had more or less adjusted to my new daily routine of derriere electrocution. Okay, besties, it is... Why does this look so wonky? Is it zoom... Oh, it's zoomed in. I am just stupid. Okay, good to know. Hello! <laughs> it's day three. I am filming this in between breaks for handing in my final year two courseworks for uni and my exams. So I have two more courseworks to do and two more exams to do. And in my rest time, I'm electrocuting my ass. <laughs> I had a bit of a CFS crash last week, not to be confused with DFS, that British sofa shop that has been having a, a, a sale that ends Sunday for the past eight years. <laughs> My energy levels on any given day are very sketchy. Um, so we're filming this now, as this is the first little bit of energy I've gotten in the last two days. So I think I'll probably do another checkup on the fifth day and then another checkup on the seventh day. I think that's probably the better way to do this. Something interesting about these shorts, I don't know why, but I've got it in my head that it wasn't gonna hurt. Just think about this as, a, as an external person for a minute. Um, if I said to you I was going to electrocute your ass repeatedly for a session of 30 minutes, would you think that that was going to be painless? Probably not. Uh, and you would be right. It hurts. And it especially hurts when you turn it up on a much higher setting, um, which, you know, obviously I'm doing because I'm doing it for science and we want to grow as fast as we can here. The other thing that caught me a bit by surprise is sitting down can be incredibly uncomfortable because when you sit down, the pressure... <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit of an odd angle, but bear with me. Because one of the pads is basically right here, it essentially pushes your leg deeper into the pad because obviously it's pushed against the chair, which means that the electrocutions are a lot stronger, which makes it very painful to sit down. So I will include a montage now of me experiencing buttock stimulation. I also forgot to mention, I've seen no visible improvements in the last two days of using this. So I think I'm gonna turn it up onto a stronger setting because I'm gonna be honest with you, the only thing worse than electrocuting your bum every day for seven days um, is electrocuting your bum every day for seven days and not seeing any single difference. <laughs> and previous days I've been capping it at around 30. I'm gonna put it up to 45. Oh. A couple of things to note about the shorts themselves. If you put the pads on in a slightly odd position, you can kind of get it on a nerve or something. Oh, I think this one's on a nerve. Hold on. Ow, ow, ow. And that really hurts because then when it electrocutes you, your leg kind of like twitches, um, which I don't, I don't think is Right. <laughs> right, we're gonna play a game. I'm gonna stand here and you're gonna guess when the electrocution wave hits. So uh, two timestamps, when you think it starts and when you think it stops, okay? Ready? Go. Guess. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my God, I really do look like a sim that needs a wee. <laughs> this is my final form. There are obviously a couple of questions as to why you would want shorts like this in the first place. And 
those questions are incredibly valid. These shorts cost £149.99, which is just under $200. They are not cheap. I can get five months worth of gym membership at my local gym for that. But there are a couple of situations where I could see shorts like this could be incredibly useful. For example, regularly when you work out, you have to set aside time to do it. This doesn't need that. You can wear these shorts and do your work. You can study. You could even look after kids or cats in my case. This allows you to get a little workout in, test your muscles, strengthen them, and potentially keep the gains that you have made at the gym from fading. They could also be pretty good if you had an injury. Say you sprained your ankle and you couldn't do your regular booty and leg workout at the gym, these could help stimulate your muscles still without risking further injury to yourself. You could also use the shorts on your off days from the gym just to add a little different type of muscle training into your routine to maximize your results. At this point, I did start to notice some changes to the general area, it did start to feel a little bit more plum tomato rather than just, you know, sad, soggy tomato. We'll just stick to the tomato analogies and that way I'm sure I'll get monetized because right now I'm, I'm just really towing the line. If you see an ad on this video, please let me know because I'm going to be honest, I really don't want to have gone through buttock electrocution um, and not got paid for it. I... <laughs> Welcome to day five. Uh, I don't think I've ever looked more like I'm in the middle of my university deadlines. Um, <laughs> but the good news is we are making progress. So, you know, I do think we're getting somewhere with this. I have noticed over the last few days, there is a small but noticeable curve. And it's, I think it's because I've been cranking up the power much harder than I did on the first couple of days. So we're gonna keep going with that today. Um, another 30 minute session. Uh, with the, the tingles in the buttocks. I've been averaging around 60, 65, which when you first start is so painful. It kind of makes your knees buckle. Oh, it's like, it's, it's like being constipated, but in your thighs. Does that make sense? It's like a very, very forceful pressure. I apologize for the way I'm sat right now, but you can't really, sit down in these if you don't kind of s sausage yourself at an angle. You know, I'm gonna crank this up to 70. Oh, oh my god, can you see my ass? It's, well, that was a, that's a weird thing to ask, but let me show you this, hold on, let me crank it up! Oh, that is so close to giving me a cramp in my left buttock. Let me show you what this is doing. This is a very weird concept, but I want to show you a close-up of what it looks like when it Tenses your muscles! Relaxed. Oh, ah, oh, ah, ow! Jeez. All of the movements that you just saw were completely involuntary. I wasn't doing any of that myself. It is purely the machine stimulating my muscles to tense through electric shocks. Oh, oh, why do I do these things? Why? <laughs> I'm just questioning my choices right now. You know, I should have just got an office job. I should have. I, sh I should have just worked in an office. How many times have you walked into your office and had to get your ass electrocuted? <laughs> and if any of you answered more than zero to that question, I, I beg you to go and see HR because I, that does not sound right to me. <laughs> Now the thing about EMS that I also noted the last time I tried this is that although it does make your muscles hurt and it does feel like a workout if you put the strength on high enough, it doesn't necessarily feel real. When you go to the gym, you do get a bit of a pump on. Your muscles are just a little bit larger for that day or two days after you go to the gym. But when you use the EMS belt, your muscles feel very artificially swollen. And I don't know how to explain this, but it makes me curious about the longevity of the potential results. And this got me thinking about exercise in general and the way in which exercise differs from the shorts because exercise is as much mental and emotional as it is physical. It's been proven that exercise can release endorphins and endorphins are kind of like a little happy chemical in your brain. They can help you feel happier, feel less stressed, less anxious. I personally really find it helpful to go on a run when I'm feeling overwhelmed. And my desire to go on a run often has 
has very little to do with my desire to gain muscle mass or make my body look a certain way. And I realized that these shorts, they don't really give you that same mental, emotional release. They don't give you the endorphin high that exercise does. They don't help me feel less stressed or anxious. Now I'm not saying that exercising to improve your physique is a bad thing, of course it's not. As long as you are making healthy decisions for your body and you're nurturing yourself, you know, emotionally and physically, there is absolutely no problem with exercising for physicality. Although it is important to note that health looks different on everyone and the way in which your body will look as a result of a certain amount of exercise is very different to the way that someone else's body will look for the same amount of exercise. Health and your physical appearance are very, very unique to you and that can be a wonderful thing. So try not to compare yourself to others if the main reason you're exercising is for physicality. It is day seven. We are on the final day now uh, that I am electrocuting my bum. It's been a journey, I'll be honest. On day five, I cranked it up to 75. And in doing that, I caused myself to walk like this for two days. It was so bad. And then yesterday, when I did it again, it's, I'm in pain right now. It is so bizarre, but I do feel like I've genuinely done a workout. So today's the final session. I'm gonna do strength 75 again, and then I'm gonna do my results. And now my seven days are up, one question remains. Did these shorts increase the voluptuousness of my derriere? <laughs> Whilst the shorts do say that they take six weeks to show the full effects of what they can do, I did notice a, a reasonable increase in the lift and general toning of my posterior. And although the shorts did kind of work, I do still have a lot of skepticism. And the reason for that is because it does still seem a bit gimmicky. They are incredibly expensive. And I don't think for the results that I got, they are necessarily worth that price. I'm not 100% convinced that I couldn't have achieved those results myself. So I think for the regular able-bodied person who you know has free time to go to the gym I think if you were given the choice between spending 150 pounds on a gym membership or on these shorts I really think you're better off choosing the gym I'd like to know what you guys think about these devices in the comments down below if you've used one before or if you haven't if you'd like to try one feel free to follow me on Instagram or catch a stream on Twitch it's Elbat over there if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment or a like to help with engagement it would mean the world engagement massively helps creators out so thank you so much if you've taken the time to do that I appreciate it welcome to anyone who's new who's joining from the last video which kind of just blew up. Uh, <laughs> the support on that video has been insane. However, something I did notice was that there was an abundance of comments in the comment section of people saying that they could style me better than the professional stylists had. So if you want to see what it looks like when I let my subscribers style me, um, that video is out next month on the 15th. Uh, let's see if you can walk the walk as much as you can talk the talk. <laughs> if you fancy subscribing, feel free. If you don't, that's all right. Don't worry. I'm not going to I'm not gonna force you. I'll see you on the 15th. Remember to hydrate and as always, give my kisses to your mother.